How did you guys, how did you get addicted to drugs? To drugs. Well, I was just introduced to it by friends and thought I would do it in some drugs that you, when you start doing them, mm -hmm. they're addictive right away for some mm -hmm. people. So, and... I guess I was one of those people, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. But a lot of um, addictions come from having past traumas, mm -hmm. like having things that you don't know how to cope with. Like, you you know, you don't know how to cope with your feelings properly. Mm -hmm. So it's easier just to turn to drugs for, you know, it's not, it's not never a good idea. I wouldn't recommend it, but it is, yeah. it, that it, it does happen like that. Yes. How long did you do it for? Oh, oh my. Um, I would say 20 years. Really? Yeah, 20, 19 to 20 years into other drugs other than marijuana. Because marijuana is not that bad. It's the other stuff. Yeah, it's the other stuff that um, is more addicting and it's it can be crippling mm -hmm. at times too. Yeah, yeah. They, like it, it can make people do things that they wouldn't do if they weren't on the drugs. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, because there's... From being downtown, working downtown, I can see a lot of people that are like that. Yeah. Oh, for sure. And some people, it messes them up. Yeah, like some people, they can be... Messed up for life. Nice. Oh, yeah, for sure. Even if they were able to get off of the drugs, it does so much damage to your body. Yeah. Especially your brain. Especially your yeah, brain. Yeah, because they I see a bunch of clients that come in place of work, come into my work, and they ask us for help all the time. Yeah, yeah. And it's it, there, There's a lot of places out there. Um, like your place that um, mm -hmm. can help them. There's a lot of help out there. Yeah. I know where I work, they always give them clean needles to help them get off of it or to protect them from it. Yes. And it's, a, I mean, it's, it's a controversial thing because it is hard drugs, but at the same time, don't want to be spreading diseases. So if we can control that, then that's at least one positive thing, I guess. Yeah. Right? Better than... Yeah, because I've seen quite a few people come to my work. I just don't usually feel like I don't usually have to deal with the clients. Now I can't, even, now I'm not even out front, so it doesn't matter. Because a Friday, they don't want me out front. Yeah, I can understand that. So they, so they don't want me up to, I guess, because, so we're putting up, I don't know what they're doing, but I guess they're taking extra measures and putting up bars in our building now. Because all our windows were smashed. Yeah, that that's crazy. And they, they said out of, uh, the one guy said he's worked there 20 years and that's never happened. And that health center has been around 30 years. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. I wonder. Huh? That guy must have been angry towards yeah, the health like center even... then, obviously. Yeah. Well, he's not going to be allowed to be around that building. He's not allowed there at all anymore. No. Because I never clean the sidewalk, usually. But now I'm not allowed to clean the sidewalk. They just want me to clean the back parking lot. Oh, to kind of keep you off of the main street? Yep. Yeah. Unless my boss tells me to. Because, yeah, they said... Cause yeah, I don't blame them. That's that's good safety measure. So what, so, what was the worst thing that happened for you on drugs? Um. Well, I was addicted to the drugs and then... I quit the drugs and started drinking. Mm -hmm. And when I was drinking, things were, well, things got even worse. Um, after my daughter passed away, uh, the drinking got out of control. Mm -hmm. And, oh, there's a couple of bad things that happened. I would say that the worst thing was to lose the respect of my family and lose the respect of my kids. And it got to the point where my kids and like, I couldn't even be around them because they didn't want to be around me because I was always drunk and I was angry. So that was the worst thing for me. Did you ever end up in jail or anything for it? Um, well, I threw a safe out of my window once and we lived on the main street above a bar. So oh. the cops were called and I went to jail. I didn't get charged for, like, the safe being thrown out or anything. Um, I just got taken to cells just to sober up. Um, mm -hmm. and then I was, and then I was let go. Actually, my friend came in, picked me up. That same day? Um, yeah, I was only in cells for about three hours and then he came and picked me up. And the only condition is that I couldn't go home that night. 